everyone. So now I'm going to do my Scentsy unboxing. Um, oop, I cut that pretty bad. So um, yeah, I got two warmers and a few um, wax Scentsy bars. Is that what they call them? Um, and basically I really wanted to try now. I know I said I didn't really want to try the bulb warmers, that I was on an element warmer kick, but now I kind of wanted to try the Scentsy um, bulb warmers out of curiosity. So, wow, okay, yep. So I got a, a lot of different things here. Um, all right, so all the... Ah! So much paper. All right. So really quick, I got just a three pack of the 25 watt bulbs because both warmers I got were 25 watts. So I thought I'd just stock up just in case. And then I also just got the aloe vera Scentsy warmer dish only because if you guys saw my last video, my dish was semi, it had a scratch on it. It wasn't cracked. I did have a um, comment that said if it ever did leak, I could con I could um, reach out to my consultant and they would send me a new one for free. But the thing is, it's not leaking, so it's fine. It's more for my own peace of mind, I guess, to have an extra just in case one day something happens to it. So this one was packaged really well. Let's just look at it together. Yeah, this one looks perfect see that so yep so this one's more just for me I guess to store away and just have in case something happens to that other one but I just want to let you guys know it didn't leak so I don't know I just wanted to get this as backup all right then should I do these or should I do the warmers I've been doing the warmers first let me just do these scents then really quick so they wrap it really good. And I think last time at least they included a ice pack. Um, yep, they included it in here too. They include an ice pack. I wonder when they'll stop that because I know it's kind of getting fall season. It's still pretty warm out in some, um, some states though. So I got the six pack so you can build a six pack bundle and then basically one of these is free if you do that so i thought um why not <laughs> why not do it if one of them's free so the first one i got is graham cracker crunch Ooh, that one's really good it almost smells caramely to me should i look up the scent notes really quick for you guys let me do that. So graham cracker crunch says caramelized graham cracker layered with crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla bean. I do get vanilla bean, but like I said, I almost get, oh, okay, caramelized graham cracker. So I get caramelized graham cracker. I don't get any peanut butter personally. Um, Pumpkin pumpkin roll. Let me just look up that really quick. These are in alphabetical order on the website. Okay. Pumpkin roll, creamy pumpkin pie filling surrounded with ye surrounded with yellow cake, pecans, butter and spice. Ooh, that's really good. I definitely get a pumpkin spice note. Not so much a cake note or anything, but pumpkin spice. Hug in a mug. I feel like I've heard a lot about this one. Let me look up that. Let me go to the H's. Hug in a mug. Who doesn't crave a little TLC? Envelop your home and heart with a warm wrap of chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. Ooh, this smells good. Whenever a chocolate note is in a fragrance, I almost always get a Tootsie Roll note. So that's what I get here. This smells kind of like a Tootsie Roll to me. All right, um, cinnamon buttercream. Let me find that one. And you guys, the wax is so fun. 
it's like soft. I don't even know how to describe it, but when I was emptying my dish, I was like playing with it. It was like squishy. I don't know. It, it's a really cool texture. I really like the Scentsy Wax. Um, Italian buttercream, creamy mascarpone, scooped over cinnamon cake, com cinnamon cake combined sugar, spice, and everything nice. Whoa. I like buttery notes, you guys know that, buttery and bakery, but this literally smells like a stick of butter. Okay, this is kind of weird. I only get butter, I don't get anything else. I'm hoping this is better on warm. I was shocked. I thought I was going to love this one. This almost gives me a savory butter note, like a butter, like the butter you would put in buttered popcorn. It's not really like a bakery butter note. I am not sure. Honestly, this is my least favorite so far, and I thought this one was going to be my favorite one. Okay, vanilla bean buttercream. I think this is like a favorite. Um, vanilla bean buttercream. Decadent buttercream frosting made with the freshest butter butter whipped with sugar cane and vanilla extract. Mm, this one's really good. This is a good um, butter scent because it's definitely got that sugar and that sweet note, whereas like the cinnamon buttercream was like not sweet. It literally just smelled like a stick of butter. Okay, last one is sugar cookie. I think this is also like a favorite. Um, warm, sweet blend of butter, sugar, and creamy vanilla. Ooh, this is good. Kind of light. But this is good. I bet I'll like this one. I thought that about the birthday wishes one. Like, when I smelled it, I thought it was very light. But I was so pleasantly surprised when I warmed it. It was actually really strong when I warmed it. I really liked that one a lot. So as you can see, I have a theme here. I literally got all bakery scents. I'm a bakery scent lover, so yes. Now let's get to the fun part, the warmers. So the first warmer I got is the Night Sky Warmer. And this is basically the reason I made my order because I made it on like the last day of August, I think. Uh, I don't know. It was like the last day or second to last day of August. And I really wanted it, so... I thought if I was gonna get it, why not just get it on the discount while it's still the warmer of the month? So this was the August warmer of the month. Um, it looks so pretty on people's videos. By the way, I ordered through Hannah Blazin here on YouTube. I love her videos. So I thought it'd be fun instead of picking like a random consultant, which I was doing before, and then I just kind of picked someone in my area. But anyway, so this is a um, 25 watt warmer. And then here's the warmer dish. Let's look at this one. Looks good. So here's just a clear dish warmer. Now let's get to the fun part. Oh, wow. This is super cool. Oh. The light bulbs in here. So here's the light bulb. I'll put that in later. I'll do what I did last couple times. I'll just insert a clip of me um, turning on the warmers just because I'm not really near a plug-in right here. But this is super cool. It's almost like a clay. Sorry about that. It looks like it's like clay, like kind of an unfinished clay i don't know super cool and it's kind of to me it's kind of like a gray color can you see that and you can kind of see like the texture where they like probably wiped it off like the stars look at how cool that is kind of see like it has a lot of different texture in it this is one where like if you're kind of like I don't know, a little OCD, I guess, about like scratches and perfectness. This is definitely not the warmer for you because it you can just see like all the different texture. 
And this one's interesting because if you guys watch my L3 video, I was like kind of creeped out by air bubbles. And this is a lot of different little bubbles in like a non symmetrical way, but it's pretty. I like this one. I think this is going to be really pretty lit up. And then this is where the cord goes. So yeah, that's super pretty. This is it up close. The stars are a little iridescent. I'm so excited to light this up, you guys. I will light it up with you guys. Like I said, I'll insert a clip um, at the end. And it feels a little dusty, I guess. My hands feel a little, like, dusty. I don't know. Just thought I'd let you know, I guess. But yeah, this is super pretty. I'm really excited about this warmer. So let me put that to the side. And then the next warmer I got, this was also a warmer of the month in the past. This is the chromatic warmer and this is from June. Let's open this one. And again, like I mentioned, I got 25 watt um, warmers. So there it is if you're curious. And then let's open this warmer dish. I think it's the same. It looks kind of the same as the other one. Do they look the same to you guys? I don't know. They look kind of the same to me, but yeah. Let me put that one in there so I don't forget. Okay. So yeah, just another clear glass warmer. Ooh, this is so pretty. Take out the bulb. The bulb looks good. Wow, this is so pretty, you guys. Sorry, my mic. You're just going to see that dangle for a second, but look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. And I think in Hannah's video, she mentioned this too, like your hands get like a little dirty holding this because it's sort of like, I don't know. It's like the other one I had, but this is more like dark gray clay or something. And it's, so it's kind of like rubbing off on my hand a little bit. So just be careful if you touch other things. Look how pretty this is. And the beauty truly comes out when you light it up because then you can see all the different colors. So there's like pink here, yellow here, green here. And you can really see the different sections of color. Like here, I think there's like a big splatter of blue. Oh my gosh, it's super pretty. And again, if you're kind of OCD, like just be aware, like this isn't perfect and everyone's is different. So there's kind of like a big splotch of gray here. I don't mind because the beauty comes out when it's on. And then there's some gray here, but oh my gosh, this is so cool. All right. So that's everything I have to show you guys. Like I said, I'm going to cut to um, a clip of me lighting these up for you. And then we will, um, yeah, see what they look like together. All right, you guys. So I have both the warmers plugged in. So here's what the night sky looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm just sitting on my floor just to demo, but look how pretty that, oop, sorry about that. My finger was in the way. Look how pretty that is. It is very bright. I love bright warmers personally because I literally will use them as like a light at the end of the night. Um, but this isn't a warmer you'd probably have while you're like, if you, if you keep on warmers while you're sleeping, this is very bright so pretty and I know people like have shown videos of this one with different color bulbs in it and that really takes on the color of the different bulbs because these are like almost clear when the light's on super pretty now let's do the night no chromatic warmer wow this is super pretty and you can see like the cool colors like it's really like flashing onto the wall next to it. So here's what it looks like on. It looks way different on than it does off. Way more bright and vibrant. So you can see my colors. I have a lot of like red and pink, which I love. 
I thought I had a lot of blue, so let's turn this around and see if I was correct. Yeah, there's kind of a big blotch of blue right there, so it's so cool. And like I said, everyone has a different warmer. I believe I've seen in other people's videos that they like hand make the warmers. So yeah, mine has all these different fun colors and this is kind of the splatter that mine has. So it's more red and pink on this side, more yellow, green, and blue on this side. So pretty. This one also is kind of a bright warmer. Not sure what it would look like with colored bulbs, but I think it's beautiful with just the, the clear white bulb. So yeah, this is what they both look like. I love them both. I'm gonna put a few cubes in them and see how they perform, but wow, they are beautiful. All right, just a warming update. So I was doing the cinnamon buttercream. I did one cube in each one. This one's completely melted in here. I don't know if you can kind of see. And then this one is almost melted, just a tiny bit left. And I'd say the warmers have been on for like 30 to 35 minutes maybe. So yeah, just an update on how it's warming. And yeah, the scent is a little strange. It kind of smells just like a stick of butter, but yeah, so they both perform really well. They're both super bright too. Very pretty.